Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. Today, we are at Audio Advice Live. This is an exciting event. We've got Scott Noonan with Audio Advice and we've got Chris Trojanar with JBL Synthesis. Guys, thanks so much for having us. This is an incredible room. Tell us what we've got going on in here. Today, we've got featured a 7.2 JBL Synthesis theater system based around JBL's HDI speakers. So we've got tower speakers, we've got a center channel speaker, uh, bookshelf speakers, and tower speakers in the back as well. As you guys know, so you know, we were putting on this event, we have to design a theater inside hotel rooms and conference centers. And so you've seen a lot of the work we've done in the home theater design tool that we do for homes. Yeah. Well, we did that for this with uh, JBL Synthesis. And so this room actually is designed correctly in terms of where every speaker is. And as you'll see, when we get playing, it's a lot of fun. Sweet. So we're going to get a real representation as best we can in a, in a uh, conference room, really, what you would expect in a home theater, man. So I'm super pumped. So what are we going to be looking at as far as when the guests come in? What kind of experiences can they expect from JBL Synthesis? Well, so the, the whole experience is running off of a JBL synthesis receiver. Okay. So that's the engine yeah. behind what the customers are going to be hearing today. Sure. Uh, we, we've got an array of concert videos and music clips so they can come in and listen to a full surround sound system today. Nice. Yeah. And our source is going to be Kaleidoscape? Kaleidoscape, yes it is. Very cool. So they're going to get incredible audio, incredible video and really just a huge performance. So I'm super pumped because I don't think I've ever experienced a JBL synthesis system. So I'm excited for myself as an attendee as well. So, you know, obviously one of the things that we love about JBL synthesis, and I know, you know, we put out this video, I don't know, maybe a year ago, yes. that has done incredibly well on YouTube. It's like, you know, 1.6 million views or something of a JBL synthesis system. And a lot of what we talked about in that was the value of compression drivers in a theater. And as you know, Audio Vice sells you know, almost every major speaker brand. But when you talk about doing a theater, uh, when you have a compression driver and you've got good waveguides so you can control your dispersion, uh, the slam you can get in your chest is what we always talk about in the industry is just amazing. And even in this larger room that we're able to set you know, 15 people in it, everyone's going to feel the slam in here, which is gonna be really, really cool. So now, speaking of slam, do we have subwoofers in here? Or are we just running full range or how's that set up? Yeah, so the, the way it's set up is we're running two subwoofers okay. in, in this room in conjunction with the rest of the loudspeakers. Uh, the, the magic behind getting that slam and integrating with the main loudspeakers is the way we calibrate that. We use Dirac Live to calibrate the system, uh, which, which helps because we can basically set up in any environment and sure. make the room sound amazing. Yeah. In addition to that, although we were just featuring in-room speakers with a combination of floor standing and bookshelf speakers, with compression driver technology, we can offer best-in-class performance in the room, in the wall, or in the ceiling. So depending on your room setup, uh, you, you can choose how you want the system to look, but still expect that performance. Uh, the great thing about partnering with Audio Advice is that they have an online home theater tool yeah. which can kind of help you decide, okay, do I want to do speakers in the room, in the wall, or a combination of each. Sure. No matter what you do, you're going to get a perfect blend and it's going to match and everything's going to timbre match and sound fantastic. Yeah, so we're going to be looking at the online tool a lot this weekend and through future videos. But Scott, y'all have done a phenomenal job with that. To be able, I'm a visual person myself. And so I had to hire a friend of mine to kind of draw up and like Google SketchUp and try to make my room so I could see, okay, where is this going to be positioned? How's it going to look visually? But your design tool kind of takes that out of the equation. You can literally drag sliders and position things where you want, choose whether you want in walls or you want floor standing speakers. So honestly, from a consumer's perspective, that is super, super helpful. Well, I appreciate that. You know, it's interesting. We had spent a uh, couple of years working on that thing. And when the pandemic hit, really our goal was that we were gonna you know, enable people to use it, but they were gonna pay to use the thing yeah. because we'd invest all this money in it. And the concept was, hey, we wanna make something more accessible and we're gonna make it a very accessible price point. Well, because the pandemic was going on, we just made the thing totally free. Um, as you know, we're actually launching tonight a new version of that tool, yeah. which is gonna blow away anything we've done now. It's gonna have all your Atmos angles. It's gonna have front wides in it, the ability to set in your theater that I want one focus chair just because this is my theater. I don't care what anyone else experiences but me or slide it all the way over to no, I want every chair to have a great experience and anywhere in between. And so there's some really cool stuff we're doing with it. And honestly, you know, I'm a software guy. I come from the tech, tech space. 
it's just so much fun building it and just putting it out and watching. We've had at this point over 70,000 theaters built in it. Wow. So I mean, it is, it's, and, and uh, interesting enough, many are worldwide. And you'll notice like from the first version we did, it was all in feet and inches. We had all these guys over in Europe and down in India going like, my gosh, add the metric system. And so we did. And so, you know, we don't, we don't sell anything, you know, outside the United States, but it's, it's been incredible. So. And the great thing I, I love about your whole design philosophy, it's that you can take a consumer like myself, we can go on there and kind of play with it ourselves and draw it up what it would look like in our room. But then we can also contact your team and you can take it a step further. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So the way, the way that works is uh, when you save uh, your design. Mm -hmm. And you can save multiple designs and try different things. For the vast majority of people, that they'll get an email back and it says, hey, do you want to talk to someone? And we set up, a, they basically have a Calendly link and they can just set up 30 minutes to talk with one of our experts. And uh, as you might imagine, we're constantly booked doing that. And they'll ask questions, well, I did this or I did that, or the speakers turned orange, which meant they were out of Dolby spec. What should I do here and there? And Honestly, we just love this. We're like you, you know, I watch your videos. I'm like, oh my gosh, this stuff is so much fun. And so uh, our guys just love talking on the phone with people about it. And, uh, you know, many people end up either, you know, buying all the stuff from us and we help them calibrate and ship it out to them and set it all up. And other people are just trying to work on something and maybe they're in the United Kingdom or, you know, wherever it is. So anyways, it's, it's, it's really fun. And we enjoy helping people design these systems so that once you've done all this work to put it in your room, you don't go, Oh my gosh, like the Atmos were in the wrong place. I right. put the rears in the wrong place or something else. Yeah, you don't want to have to, to recut holes in your ceiling <laughs> and reposition those. So if you can get it right from the beginning, that's really, really huge. So I'm looking back here. We've got a couple display items. Kind of walk us through what are we looking at here in this uh, on the plexiglass. Okay, on the plexiglass here, we, we have a couple options I mentioned. We have in-wall and in-ceiling versions of our synthesis loudspeakers. Yeah. What you have here on the left-hand side, this is called the JBL SCL6. Mm -hmm. This is an on-access loudspeaker, in-wall loudspeaker that can be used as an LCR. It can also be used as your surround channels nice. as well. Uh, gonna move over here. What we see here is this is the SCL8. So this is an in, typically an in-ceiling speaker. It can be used for LCRs. It can also be primarily used for your Atmos and high channels. This is an off-axis loudspeaker that's angled at 45 degrees. Okay. So you can really position it in. If you have multiple rows of seats, everybody gets a great experience. The last speaker here, this is the JBL SCL7, and the SCL7 is an off-axis speaker as well. In a smaller room, sometimes you have problems with first wall reflections, sure. right? Getting that bounce off that first wall if your sidewalls are close. This eliminates that problem by being angled in at 15 degrees. So nice. most of the energy focuses at the listening position and not off to the wall. Uh, so this is great for smaller rooms as an LCR. Can also be used as a solution for your side channels and rear channels as well. And if, if you're like me and don't have a dedicated room, sometimes you have a window or a wall where you want to put a speaker. Well, this loudspeaker can be placed in front and angled in or behind you and angled back at the listening area. So kind of the Swiss Army knife. Gotcha. The, last, the last speaker, I didn't mean to leave this out, yeah. but this is the JBL SCL, SCL8. So this is actually- This was a, a five here. Uh, I'm sorry, yes, SCL5. And this is, this is the bigger brother to the SCL8. It has a larger compression driver. So if you're doing a bigger theater room, uh, you need more output, you have many rows of seats, you would choose the SCL5 instead of the SCL8. You know, one, one just sort of comment as Chris was going through all the speakers. Uh, we've been a JBL synthesis dealer for a long time and installed them around North Carolina and sometimes around the country, you know, when uh, people would fly us around to install. And historically, these have been ultra high performance theaters that really, you gotta be pretty rich to buy. Yeah. And what you're seeing here was really a whole new line that they launched to make it more accessible for people. And you'd be shocked how many people we have that, you know, either we're installing for or they're do-it-yourselfers to go, oh my gosh, now I can get the JBL Synthesis brand and capability, the compression drivers, and it's not nearly as expensive as I thought. And that's when you, when you look at these, the SCL7s, SCL6s, SCL8s, that was all brand new product they brought out to specifically achieve that goal. Yeah, and as a manufacturer, the, the timing couldn't have been better when you launched the home theater tool. Now we have speakers starting at $1,100 a oh. channel. We have an AVR that makes that can power everything in, in the system. Uh, and what Audio Advice has done, especially at, uh, with their online tool, home theater tool, is taking the complexity out of it. Yeah. So as a manufacturer, uh, now Audio Advice is, is our online partner for JBL Synthesis, sure. which 
which is fan it's fantastic because for the do-it-yourselfers, for the people that want to want to buy and experience this in their homes, they have a place to go and see it and get the help that they need. And for guys like me, I didn't do super well in math. I mean, I made it up to like trigonometry, <laughs> but I didn't do well in trigonometry. That's not my, my wheelhouse. And so to be able to figure out the angles automatically for you, like I said, from a consumer standpoint, I think that's just a super, super helpful tool. And I think it's going to help you guys when you're building your own home theaters. You know, one of the things, just if you think about, if we can get the speakers placed in the right places, and we'll start there in terms of design. Um, Chris was talking earlier about getting calibration right, and they have direct calibration in the JBL synthesis systems. In my opinion, you know, 10 years ago, calibration systems really were not that great. Uh, they were sort of cool to say that they were there, but you didn't really have phase alignment, you didn't have time alignment. And today, if you look at Dirac, um, what it can do when you start with a room that's well designed, you're like, oh my gosh, my system sounds really good. But then you calibrate it. And um, you know, oftentimes, obviously, if we're installing for someone, we go calibrate them ourselves. But if someone's across the country, we say, do not skip this step. And so we've made pretty extensive videos on how to do Dirac and you know, a host of great videos are out there. We'll oftentimes actually get on a um, video conference with someone and walk them through it you know, as they're doing it. But I tell people all the time, do not skip the step of doing a calibration. And once you get the phase alignment in the room, you start to all of a sudden get way better imaging, your bass is tighter and cleaner, and all your voicing is better. You just go, my gosh, that's great. Now, I will caveat it by saying this, most people who use a calibration system, as soon as they're done, go, oh, it didn't work, the bass is too low. We've, we've all heard that. And it's usually because people have overbased their rooms, they're so used to feeling the bass, they love it. And generally what I tell people is, look, live with that for a week or two. And you may find that it's a lot better if you don't. You can go right in the die rack and you can move up the base in your curve a little bit, add a little more punch at the lower end and you're good to go. Yeah, That's no reason to deal. get the microphone back out. Once the measurements are done, it's done and you can play with it at will. So. Well, Chris, I'm super pumped. This is going to be an exciting weekend, Scott. Thanks so much for inviting me out and my team. We're going to be checking out a lot of different really cool home theater rooms. We've got some two channels set up. There's a lot of exciting things and several vendors are going to be announcing some really cool first time um, announcements here at Audio Advice Live. So we'll have all the information on your website. Tell them a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, if you're looking for stuff that happened at Audio Advice Live, you go to live.audioadvice.com. Probably by, a lot, by the time most people are seeing this, just go to audioadvice.com. You'll see we've designed the website pretty darn well where there's a home theater section. You can see all sorts of how-to videos. If you want to install your uh, stuff yourself, shows you how to do that. We've got all sorts of videos of installations. Plus, we've got inspiration gallery to look at stuff. So a lot of cool stuff happening. And obviously, you know, if you're watching this, you know the great work that Michael does and the videos that you put out there. Just, you know, you're so personal. And everyone loves you and just loves looking at, you know, everything that you're talking about and just go, man, this guy's just super authentic. So thank you for all the work you're doing. I appreciate it. Well, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. We've got lots of content coming your way, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. As always, be blessed, and we'll catch you in the next video.